Hello, it will be my last video this year. And I want to tell you, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you so much for your every kind words and everything. Thank you. And today I want to say a little bit or share with you idea Hygge, what it means Hygge and why it's important for us to remember about this not only today or one week or one month but try to have a little bit Hygge hmm, Hygge Hygge in our life Please stay with me and remember, I wish you all the best in the next year and much, much longer. <laughs> and right now, everything what you should to know about Hygge. A cozy quality that makes a person feel content and comfortable. Invoking or fostering a sense of coziness, contentment and well-being. What for we need Hygge? Yet, the gross national product doesn't allow for the health of our children, the quality of their education, or the joy of their play. It doesn't include the beauty of our poetry, or the strength of our marriages, the intelligence of our public debate, or the integrity of our public officials. It measures neither our wit nor our courage, neither our wisdom nor our learning, neither our compassion nor our devotion to our country. It measures everything in short, except the which makes life worthwhile. Robert Kennedy People have been talking about Hygge for a few years now. Is the Danish word for coziness or feeling warm, comfortable and safe. According to the Cambridge Dictionary, it was back in 2016 that the New Yorker reported it was the year of Hygge. It's not so much an activity you might choose to do or not do. Hygge is more a way of life, one that makes ordinary moments feel special, pleasurable and meaningful, according to Mike Viken, CEO of the Happiness Research Institute and the author of the little book of Hygge, Danish Secrets to Happy Living. The concept of Hygge is about creating a cozy, comforting physical environment, lighting candles, snuggling up with soft blankets and consuming warm, soothing drinks. But it's also, and perhaps more importantly, a mindset and a philosophy. A Viking explains. Hygge is about an atmosphere and an experience, rather than about things. Hygge is also about creating a comforting social and emotional environment for yourself. It's about who you choose to surround yourself with and what you choose to spend your time doing. It's about being with the people we love, a feeling that we are safe, that we are shielded from the world, and are allowing ourselves to let our guard down. I wish you a lot of yoga and a lot of love in the new year. Thank you so much. Hi, I hope you've enjoyed this video and please like, subscribe, share, comment and remember just be a little bit more Hugo, <laughs> thank you so much. See ya next year. Bye bye.